Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure Palo Alto Firewall to provide internet connection to the internal users. Okay, so basically to provide internet access, uh, we have to configure a uh, few things in the firewall. So configuration network interfaces and uh, security policy, NAT and default route. So here is a topology guys, as you can see. So this is our Palo Alto Firewall. This is WAN interface IP address and this is WAN interface uh, gateway. You can see same in this uh, details as well text um, 172.17.1.1 is a local side uh, interface IP address this is an Ethernet 1 slash 2 and this is PC 1 and PC 2 uh, this PC is uh, we are considering as the internal uh, users so let me check this is uh, configuration so this is the IP address we already configured in this PC so let me verify by giving show IP command so you can check IP address gateway and uh, global DNS IP also I configured here. Let me try to ping uh, global DNS IP from here. So it is not reachable because uh, we did not configure anything in the firewall as of now. So let me verify the same thing in the PC2 as well. Show IP. In the 1.3 is the IP address 172.17.1.3 and the gateway. So the gateway is which is configured in the Palo Alto firewall inside interface side. You can see same here. Okay. So global DNS also I configured here. Let me ping a dot a dot a dot eight. And uh, yeah, it should not reachable. It's not reachable at this moment. So we are going to configure Palo Alto firewall. Then it will start reaching that server and um, we can communicate to the internet okay so admin, and admin. so this is uh, palo alto gui access it's loading Okay guys, um, this is the dashboard of uh, Palo Alto. So here you can see Palo Alto logo and um, this is management uh, CPU and data plane CPU utilization and uh, this is uh, my IP address. I've been uh, actually I'm logged in this uh, device by using this IP address and this is the management IP. So this is uh, overall dashboard and here we can see some tabs. So network tab, in network tab we can see interface zones and virtual routers so here uh, we are going to configure these two interfaces uh, this interface is connected to internet so i'm going to configure accordingly this is for uh, inside i mean uh, local uh, lan so we are going to create um, zones i mean zones as well and policy natting and default route okay so just let me configure it so it is a van interface if you check it in uh, topology one slash one is the van interface one slash two is the uh, land side interface okay i am going to configure these ips on palo alto firewall so one slash one is connected to internet and this is a layer three interface and the ip address i am going to configure now and i am using virtual router i am not going to add any additional router uh, this is for routing purpose uh, we have to create a default uh, route, route in this uh, virtual router so I will show you later so there is no zones are configured here uh, there are two options we can go to zones option here and we can configure the zones otherwise directly we can configure the zones from here also it will reflect there okay so zones so outside outside zone okay so i send to outside zone this interface and default router um, this is static ip address i am going to give uh, there are few more options ppvoe and dhcp client but i am using static ip so 172 sorry it is 
247.55 okay slash 24 yeah just just click enter and it will take okay and click on okay so this is van interface ip address i can't forget so just uh, i have taken all the all our um, private uh, range only guys don't get confused so we can uh, configure public ips as well okay so this is a van ip address and i'm taking uh, i'm going to configure lan ip as well this is also layer 3 interface okay and uh, i'm assigning it to default router zone uh, here only outside zone is available we just now i create it right i am going to create another zone that is for inside okay okay we need we have to send the ip as well 172.17.1 slash 24 okay just hit enter and it will take okay so two ip address already i configured so interface uh, configuration is done and i'm going to create security policy so let me create security policy policies and security policy uh, already default uh, policies are there guys already uh, one is uh, for intra zone so by default intra zone means uh, within the zone communication will be allowed by firewall so as uh, there is a policy and uh, inter zone communication um, will be blocked by default so you can see uh, dna so we are going to add uh, one more policy from inside zone to outside zones is nothing but inter zone but uh, only between these two zones so inside to outside will allow so once we allow from inside to outside the reverse traffic also will be allowed by default okay this is called a stateful firewall okay so however i am going to configure firewall policy now so internet so i can say internet policy okay so the name uh, you can give any name guys so given and uh, source ip address i have to select a source zone just now i created from uh, inside zone and outside zone right so that thing we um, have to select here so from inside to outside i am allowing the traffic source is internet inside okay and um, this is source address source address can be any i am not specifying any ip address so any user so i am not specifying any user so destination is outside zone because our internet uh, ip address terminated and outside so it will go there outside zone and uh, destination address can be any okay so application any application any service so application default is nothing but if you specify any application that the related service will be applicable here however so application also any so this is also can be any and action allow so we have a few options as well so you can see dna drop uh, reset client reset server reset both client and server but we are here allowing the traffic so allow and click on okay okay the policy is created now so it will allow from inside source source zone inside and destination zone outside any address okay it will allow it should be top of the rules because um, it will uh, follow like uh, first it will check this rule after the after one below ones right okay so we have to make sure it should be on uh, top of uh, all the rules okay however i configured it after that so let's see so security policy has been configured now and uh, i'm going to configure uh, nat network address translation so here is the nat you can see policies nat so no nat uh, rule is there so i'm going to add one rule now it is for internet rule you can give any name so happy before and uh, original packet from source inside and zone outside destination interface is uh, outside interface that is uh, van interface and services any service and translated so here you can see few more options source address and destination address it can be any any okay so translation type uh, here uh, we can see few types so dynamic ip and port and dynamic ip static ip none okay so we have to give dynamic ip and port because uh, 
if you have a multiple IP address, we can give dynamic IP and it will choose one to one. Like one IP con, uh, one IP take um, one public IP one to one uh, translation will happen here. Um, and in static, uh, static also one to one, but uh, statically means uh, one to one mapping. It is also one to one, but dynamically. So first time it can choose one IP, second time it can, I mean, one user can choose another IP address like that. But it is always use the same IP address in statically. So as we are having one IP and uh, we have a many pieces, we have to use dynamic IP with the port representation means and single IP it will use different different ports to communication okay? to communicate with the other servers. Okay, translated address uh, if you have a multiple address we can use translated address and uh, I'm going to use interface IP address and which interface uh, WAN interface I have to choose. And IP address, this is the WAN IP address which I configured there. Okay, just click on OK, and uh, we configured almost uh, we done. And um, this is what we have to do. Okay, configuration of network interface is done, security policy is done, network address translation is done. So, default route also we have to give. It. So, just I'm selecting network virtual routers default route. So while creating the interface, I selected uh, this uh, profile, you can clearly observe. So there itself, we have to add one default route. So this is the internet route, you can mention, okay. And destination is 0 .0 0.0.0.0. So any, any, it is nothing but it is ethernet one slash one next op is next op ip address i am going to give uh, that is you can see next op ip address of van interface is 172.168.247.2 uh, i am going to uh, give the same ip address here 192.168.247.2 uh, right okay this is ip and uh, rest of all can be uh, keep it as default okay so it's configured now just click on ok okay i configured everything guys uh, network in network interfaces i configured um, interfaces and uh, zones uh, if we, once we configure the zones and interface it will reflect here also we can configure the zones directly from here also okay so virtual routers in virtual router default already assigned these interfaces and one static root as well okay so everything is configured now so let me do one thing let me put um, ping to 8.8.a default ping okay so let me commit now okay so it is committing once commit then only changes will reflect guys uh, also you can see here so it is not committed yet let me click on commit and you can see the network uh, interface also come up so if you can see so these are showing uh, down at this time it's a gray color so uh, it will be green so it is committing now so once it is commit we can check it again okay? 99% completed yeah see here it's almost done completed it's not reflecting here but yeah configuration committed successfully you can see links are up now you can see it is reachable to the internet 8.8.8 .8 from the pc1 from the pc2 as well you can check ping 8.8.8.8 you can see it's pinging and you can check ping to google.com okay so now the users are able to uh, directly access the internet here is the policy guys uh, we can configure like this so everything is configured now it's a, now the users are able to access the internet through the firewall this is the configuration guys yeah thank you